Hey guys, my name is Ashley L, and you are here kicking it with me and the 13th Wolfman. Hey everyone, you know who I am, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and you know who I have with me today, I have Ashley LaVenture, she's back, Pinup Dolls on Ice, uh, Lilith, the Dookie Squad, you know, and she's here to talk about more than just what she's been doing in film, but what she's been doing uh, business-wise. So welcome back to Sit Down, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. So how are I mean, let, let's get a little, we talked a little bit about this. You have a, you have a business venture that you're into right now called Paint Night. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so, yeah. So for the people that don't know, tell them what it is, you know. Um. So Paint Night's basically um, like a two-hour two hour paint and drink party. Um, so it's all over the U.S., uh, Canada. Um, I'm up here with mine in Canada. And it's a two-hour painting, drinking party held at different local bars around the city. So, yeah. So, do you, I mean, do you show up and paint the walls at the bar or is it just like canvases <laughs> or what? I mean... <laughs> Um, so we, it's, uh, like a 16 by 20 canvas. Um, and we just, we have, we're kind of like, um, party hosts more like more or less like entertainers. Um, so we lead, you know, large groups, like 40 people, um, through the two hours to come out with this one pre-picked painting. So you know, I throw a lot of jokes in there. I'm kind of more of an R-rated artist as the potty mouth and stuff. So <laughs> sexual innuendos. So it's pretty fun. It's, it's good how'd, you get, how'd you get involved in such this and in, in this thing? Um, so after I graduated college um, in Edmonton, um, I started working in Edmonton as a paint night artist. And then... Um, but a year or so later, um, I decided to uh, apply for my license for it and um, bring it up to Fort McMurray, which is where I where I run my business up there. Um, so I brought it up to Fort McMurray, and yeah, it's insane. It's crazy. It's so busy. So so busy. So it's exciting though. I love it. It's it's a really cool concept. I I I I never heard of this until you know you told me what it was, and I I I, I would never be involved because a I can't I can't draw, so I can't paint. But for the people it's, that can, that's very cool. It's stick. It's everyone comes on a stick man based level. Oh, okay. That's where your so, starting talent, stick man based. So just a little bit, bit more advanced than me. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm slightly, just... <laughs> slightly. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's and especially like we're we're it's far away from being in an art class. Far, far away. There's alcohol involved. <laughs> That's true. I mean, but then some people get super creative when they get drunk. So Yeah, because you lose your inhibitions, right? And you just kind of go with the flow. So you're not, you know, super like ah, ah, OCD about everything. Like why how I can apple, be. <laughs> why does the apple look like a frisbee? No, just... Yeah, and that's that's where you go with it, and then it turns into a UFO. Or t- I've seen T Rexes. I've seen it all. So. <laughs> so is there a? I mean, just trying to get the the idea of this. So when when the people show up to paint, do you have a topic for the night or? Yeah, um, so I'll show you. We just did one of my my paintings that I created the other day. So I, I uh, you know, there's there's thousands upon thousands of um, paintings in in our library from digital library from paint night artists. Um, actually, okay, I'll show you this one I did. I went to a paint night when I was in Boston. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> that be oh, Bob Ross. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross. 
Yeah, happy, so that was a the happy a tree man. I I used to love watching his stuff when I was a kid. Again, I'm always in awe of people that have like that 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 have that talent that they can paint or draw, you know. So yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's yeah, it's yeah, it's special, definitely. So along with this, have you been uh, doing any other acting? I mean, um, last time I we haven't... talked, you were pinup dolls on ice. So. How long ago was that? I can't remember. How long ago was the... That was uh, March of last year. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I did um, just in December, I did one um, a film called The Damned. And that's actually based on the comic book The Damned. Um, <clears throat> so it's like Film noir, um, gangster, you know, okay. kind of okay. creatures and gory. I think Sin City kind of ish. So kind of like that. Um, but yeah, the underworld kind of in it. So yeah, That's that was pretty. really cool. Did you hear the news today? No, I didn't. Uh, Jeff. Klein uh, won an award for for one of the uh, TV shows he did. Shut up! No way! Huh? Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> I, I guess I haven't been on Facebook enough today. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's an international Emmy, I think, is what it was called. What? Yeah. I I, I don't know why. Like, I'm surprised, but then I. I shouldn't be surprised because they're amazing at what they do. So, yeah, I it, I think it's great. I mean, yeah. it just Jeff deserves all the all the accolades he can get for anything, you know. Yeah, and they worked like you know him and Melissa. They work hard. They they do. They work their balls off, and they just it's nice because they they're filmmakers who actually end up having something real like they actually come out with their films and they're shot beautifully and they have they see their idea all the way to like it into fruition pretty much so yeah but it also helps that they have talented actresses and actors to to help you know grow that grow that idea from a kernel to a you know, to a full experience along with yeah. you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I popped on a uh, Facebook this morning. It was like one of the first things I saw. So. That's so awesome. I have to go and pick on him now and bug him. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was kind of cool because I'm like, Oh wow. I got Ashley on tonight. I wonder if she'll know. That's so. insane. <laughs> I'll have to do a screenshot, like a bottle of Jameson or something, and send it to him. There you go. Oh, wish, wish we could take a shot. Or Ugh. loves his Jameson. Now, along with being a a, a little small business uh, owner and an actress, you're also a techie. I am a techie. I am. Yeah. It's... You you love your tech. I mean, anything. Anything new grabbing at you lately? Oh yeah, yeah. There's oh, there's so much. Like, ah, I'm, I actually didn't pre-order an iPhone seven. Uh oh. It was the first year that I did not watch the the uh, keynote from beginning to end. I scrubbed through it. I was so disappointed. I tweeted at Tim Cook. Something like, um, <laughs> I was like, what? No AR, VR gadget to go along with the iPhone. So I'm like, where is everything? Where is everything? Like, it's it's so, I was like, I am a disgusted consumer right now. <laughs> of course, you know, he didn't reply back. It's yeah, I don't bad. remember which one it was, but Kevin from the Dorkening. Uh, he ordered a Samsung. I just don't remember which one it was, but he got a VR unit. 
that that came with it. Oh, the gear. Yeah. The Samsung Samsung Gear VR. Ah, I'm thinking about getting one, but I just don't know if I can if there's good content or I can justify buying it, but he's been he's been digging it. Uh like when um when the Conjuring 2 came out, I guess there was a there was a VR 3D thing you can you can view through it. And he said it was very cool. Oh really? Was it was it like um Was it almost like a a room, or was it just like a a trailer that was? No, no, yeah. There was a, there was a room when you looked up, you you saw stuff going on when you looked around. You had, yeah, that is badass. That reminds me. Have you seen the trailer for the VR game coming out of Friday the Thirteenth? I haven't seen the trailer for that one. But I, I guess I need to. You will sh- you will shit your pants. You can actually so it's VR like I have the HTC Vive. It's so immerse immersive. You know you can look down at a cliff and you actually get ooh like you're kind of jarred because it's like you're gonna fall off. So with this game, it's intense because you can actually play as Jason. And you can walk around and you can hunt the counselors. <laughs> and then you can, of course, you can be a counselor and get hunted. But it's creepy as shit. So think 360, 360 degrees all around you. Dark forest. You go and you hide under a bed and he walks in and his legs are like right here and his feet. And it's just like you can hear his breathing. Oh, my God. I'm so, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked for the game. And now you need something to, to play it on. What's that? <laughs> I said, now you need something to play it on. Well, I got I got the gaming PC here. And the Vive, HTC Vive. So now I just got to... When's that come out, do you know? Oh, God, I don't know. I want to say okay. it's October. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so in a couple of days. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's right. It's only a couple of days. She's <laughs> going. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I can live with that. I can live with that. <laughs> There's tons of other horror games that that are really really stirring things up on uh, on Steam. So crazy crazy paranormal activity I, was one yeah. of them. I haven't tried it, but it's supposed to be it's supposed to be intense. That's cool. Yeah. So it's it's I think it's changing the way I think it's changing the content that we're gonna view, especially when it comes to indie horror movies. Um I think the you know, the small guys, like a lot of us indie horror filmmakers, I think they should get on it and they should or they should be able to get that stuff on on VR and 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 actually, you know, bring their films kind of into real life. And uh, they're looking for you know so much content, and developers are ready to go. And it's got to be expensive like, though. What what? Oh, you mean shooting for? I mean, just just developing a, a VR. I mean, a VR reality for. I'm thinking, you know, you say the indie the indie horror makers. I mean, these guys are lucky if they have enough money to film the movie, let alone do an offshoot of a VR game. You know. Yeah, I think, and yeah, and I think the thing about that would be, like, even if they could get it into a list. Um, you know, bring up like a, it's almost like when you put on the VR, you can open up a menu and you can have a list of movies or short films. And one of them would be, you know, your horror films. And then you could just kind of watch them, you know, as if you're in like the theater kind of widescreen type thing. Even if they had something like that and they could just get it into there. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. So 
but yeah, as a game or to to do something else too with it, like that would be awesome. But have you seen any good indie horror lately? I haven't watched too much horror lately. Um, hmm. None that I can really quite think of. How about you? I've seen a few. I saw Stomping Ground. Oh, what is okay? So, what is that one? That's a that's a Bigfoot movie filmed down in North Carolina. Oh, is it is it good? Actually, yeah, it's really good. It's not like it, <laughs> it's do it. It's not like Willow Creek. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, Bobcat. <laughs> You know, I just saw that movie for the first time about three weeks ago. I've had it recorded on my DVR forever because I kept oh, hearing how good this was. I'm like, I need to finally sit down and watch this. And I was like, what the hell? What? Th- that We were at Dead Fest in, in Edmonton, Jeff, Melissa, and, and me, and uh, for Pinup Dolls. And after Pinup Dolls was um, Willow Creek. <sighs> Pass me the Jameson, Jeff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was just, I'm used to Blair Witch, right? And that was like the, that was I the. Want, yeah, and I, I'm the I'm the opposite when it comes to Blair Witch. I was never impressed by that movie. You never were? No? No. Oh, I have a true hatred for that movie. Do you really? How come? Um. Being where I grew up in Washington, uh, we used to go camping and hiking a lot. So every mistake that they made through this movie did nothing but irk me. And so by the time the by the time the movie was over, I'm like, oh my god, you people are idiots. And yeah. and then there were times where you could look in the background and you know like like we're lost and you'd see like the the road. It's like, dude, turn around. <laughs> Damn it! I gotta find that. I gotta look at that again. And there's times that you see power lines. It's like, okay, just follow the oh, power lines if, if you're lost. <laughs> well, I got to rewatch this now. The movie just annoyed me. I mean, I saw it once and I was like, oh my God. And they got Mike who throws away the map and they don't find out for like two days. Yeah. He, does, he deserves an ass beating and all they do is yell at him. I'm like, let's see. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I got to Yeah, I got to agree with that. And there's the airplanes that are like flying over. Yeah. I'm like it's like it's like, well, you got just you wouldn't they follow the river when they follow the creek? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. E- exactly. I mean, there's so many things to get them out of there and they're like, Oh, we're lost. I'm like, dude, you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to be like a you know, to to turn back on that I said I loved it, but I I guess when I was when I was younger and I seen, you know, went to the theater and actually and seen it, it was like, whoa, it was the first of its kind for me to see that. And it was just like, holy shit. Cause there was, it was so, you know, there wasn't all that heavy CGI and it was no, more no. like. It, it, you're, you're right. I mean, I mean, for the marketing and for the, you know, for the craziness that it was at the time, yeah. but I kept on hearing, you know, people want to see this and they got, they got motion sickness and I was raised, I was raised in the woods. I was raised on boats. So oh. I, I, I don't get motion sickness, you know, I, I've got a strong stomach. So I didn't see it in the theater. I saw it like, like the first time it came to cable. I was like, no way am I going to see this movie. I just know yeah. I'm, I'm, then when it came to cable, I'm like, so glad I didn't see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I'm older, you know, so like you say you were younger and it was like one of your first experiences, you know, dealing with that. I've already, I'd already been through my teens and my, my twenties at the time that that movie came out. So I was just kind of like, uh, you know, and that, that's what it was to me. Was, eh. <laughs> you weren't as tender and impressionable. Exactly. As being older. It's, it's not, I spit on your grave. Yeah. The original, you know. <laughs> oh, I remember when they brought The Exorcist back. 
snuck in to see that movie. I'm like, oh, we're buying tickets for like, I don't know, it's like what, like, I don't know, something rated G. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> yeah. Just sneak in to The Exorcist. Oh, my God. It was awesome, though. It was awesome. I, I saw The Exorcist when I was six. Ooh. I saw it in the theater when it first came out. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my mom. <laughs> my mom's a horror fan, so she's like, she's like, I want to go see The Exorcist. So it's like me and my older brother, and you know, just. That's hilarious. That's awesome. You know, here's a six and a nine year old, you know, sitting there watching The Exorcist with their mom. So. That's awesome. <laughs> That's how the path started. Exactly. Well, the past started like a year before that. You know, it's like I was staying up late at night watching. Um, we used to have like one of those local horror horror hosts, and I stayed up late night with my mom on Fridays. If I could stay up and not get freaked out, I could watch the movie. So I watched like you know old Dracula and Frankenstein and you know all these movies with her, and it was you know she's like okay, and that was the deal. If I didn't get scared, I could watch the movie. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. Yeah. You got, like, the really good old ones. Oh, yeah. I, I You know, The Exorcist, Jaws, The Omen, also in the theater. <laughs> TCM. I, uh, damn. It must have been cool to see them in theater. I, I just, last year, they took a, there was a, company called fathom uh fathom events that is bringing some movies back to theaters and they did jaws so it's like i hadn't seen i'd seen jaws my entire life many times i'd seen it in the theater when i was like seven or eight and so they they brought it back last year and i was like okay well i'm gonna go see it again i'm I'm making my 40s now so i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna go enjoy it in the theater again and i did (laughs) so you being like you know like I almost want to say classically trained, like as if you're on a NES. <laughs> but so you being like classically trained with these old horror movies, how do you find a lot of that new stuff with the CGI? Like, how? It's, what's your thoughts? As long as, lo- as long as it's not, you know, blatantly 100% CGI. I can mm-hmm. overlook like some of it, you know. I mean, I love I love Rob Zombie's The Devil's Rejects, but there's mm-hmm. like a, a fair amount of CGI blood in that movie. Mm-hmm. And there, there's a scene where um, the lady gets stuck in the chest with the knife. Mm-hmm. That knife is 100 percent CGI, you know. But I look at it and I go, well, you know, okay, that that's fine. But when the girl gets picked off by the semi truck in the middle of the road, that's real. I mean, as far as as far as practical effects go, so I, as long as there's an even balance to it, I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, you know. So, and, like, not the. I'm trying to think of a a horror movie where it was just like super, super fake, like terrible. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, there's bad CGI, and you can always tell because it looks real cartoony, and that's the stuff that just bugs me. It's it like is. the stuff. The stuff you see on the Sci-Fi Channel. Yes, you know exactly. You know, I mean, it, it's on the Sci-Fi Channel because, well, that's what they want. This is the, they want the low budget, cheap looking CGI, and that you know, lava, yep. la, uh, two lava, two lanchula, stuff like that. You know. Yeah. But uh, again, it's like okay, I, I look at that and I go, well, you can't go out and find a giant spider, so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel that way too. Like it's, it's hard to find, mind you, I haven't watched any in a while horror movies, but it's hard for me to kind of fall in love and get scared with horror movies these days. Like I grew up on child's play and, and, um, poltergeist. Yeah. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Like, I, I know exactly what you. I, I know exactly what you're saying. I grew up on all those. I saw all those in the theater. <laughs> I saw, 
I, one of my great things is I saw Friday the 13th at the drive-in. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Do they still have drive-ins around, like, the we world? Have, we have six drive-ins in this in this state. One that's about 17 miles away from me. Oh, that's crazy. We don't have I any think, drive-ins. I think over where Leo lives, he says that they have three. Oh, really? Yeah. I know Kevin has one that's not too far from him. They have a couple where Kevin lives, and one used to be an old, when it was an old drive-in, it was a old X-rated drive-in. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, you just, like, pile pile a bunch of friends into a car or go there and watch, you know, whatever that the latent porn is. And <laughs> Yep. Hide in the trunk, put a blanket over, over top, people in the back. And yeah, the reason the windows are getting the reason the windows are getting steamed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's crazy. It's I, I I see, I, yeah, I have seen my fair share of, of pretty decent horror films lately. I mean, Tales of Tales Tales of Halloween is something to pick up for Halloween. That was oh, a great and yeah. that was a really great anthology. You know. Yeah. It just came out. Uh, on pre- I think they just pre-ordered it. Someone just got it, uh, and it, it's like uh, ten stories, and it's just really cool, creepy stories. So it's you know? almost. So is it kind of like creep show, trick or treat, trick or treat, tri- tales from the crypt type stuff? Yeah. Nice. But but it's all these really weird Halloween stories. Sounds good. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Watch it. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm just trying to rattle my brain right now because I talk to every I talk to you know someone new every week about what they're what they're putting down. It's usually all horror. Uh, yeah. Funhouse, Funhouse Massacre. Another good one. Funhouse Massacre. Okay. Yeah. What's that one? What's that one about? Uh, six six. Uh, and six guys, uh, six people that, that break out of an insane asylum wind up, wind up at a fun house. And the, the, it's, it's all part of this, the main guy's plan to put them in this fun house, you know? And oh, awesome. it, it, yeah, it's got Clint Howard. Uh, okay. Uh, Jerry Burns from like, uh, Burn Notice, uh, Dear John, stuff like oh, that. Nice. You'd, you'd know him if you saw him. Um, it's just a really cool, creepy, you know, type of movie. Um, they, they all have their own little characters of who, uh, of you know, what the the reason that they're in the the asylum. You mm-hmm. know, one's a cannibal, one's a fire freak, one's a, you know, and they all wind up in this uh, I'm at this little sideshow in some kind of carnival displaying this stuff you know and people are like oh look it's it's edmund the butcher you know but that stuff's not real and yeah it's <laughs> that's kind of classic like good base foundation like classic horror horror setting is in the carnivals and the yeah. insane asylums and the the naturally Creepy places. I like it. Yeah, I think you would. Oh so, yeah, check check it out. You know, we'll be watching a lot of shit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to do all in one night. You know, you, you need to set. How uh, October's coming? Set it all up for Halloween. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I might be ordering Pizza Hut and staying up till five a.m. <laughs> is what I do. What is it? Tuesday. Yeah. That'll work. Tuesday's good. <laughs> that, that's usually, what, what do you do on Halloween? Um, usually have a get together at our house. I'll be I'll be in Fort Mac that weekend, so not sure yet. Not sure yet, but I'm I'm one of those like real Halloween people who like to. Have like the 
gory costumes and like do the real the I real just, stuff. Okay, I was just gonna ask. I was I was just gonna ask without trying to offend. I was gonna say, are you the <laughs> are, are you the girl that 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 dresses up to scare or the you know the sec the sexy little kitten? You know. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, maybe when I was like nineteen, uh, twenty two. You know, kind of did the did that thing, I guess. But no, not 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 these. No, 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 not for a while. Like it's all bloody, and gory, and like yeah, the good stuff, the good stuff. The yeah, I usually, I usually get together with as many friends as I can, and we throw like a giant twenty uh, four hour movie marathon. Oh, nice! Twenty four hour movie marathon. That's yeah, pretty intense. Yeah, we put a bunch of titles into a bowl, and then like one, you know, someone pulls a title out, and it's like, okay, we're watching that, and then someone pulls another title out, and we watch that, and we try to see how long we can go. And I'm usually, I'm usually the last one awake. I'm always like sitting there going, "Dude, it's King Kong. I'm watching it." <laughs> I hate that when other people fall asleep, and you're the only one still kicking around. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm, they, they wake up, they're like, what are you watching? I'm like, I'm watching, you know, like I said, I'm watching King Kong. Like, oh, wow. Last thing I knew we were watching was like, Return of the... Yeah, that was like four movies ago. You've been out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. People falling asleep. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Some of them would come from like work and whatnot, so it's like they're not prepared. <laughs> but it's fun. Well, that sounds awesome, though. Put a bunch of bunch of names in a bowl and pick it. Yeah, and and then like once they get picked, they can't go into the bowl next year. Oh, really? No. That way, that way, we don't watch like the same movies every year. Oh, you know? that's cool. We, yeah, we just throw the ones that were in the bowl. You know, the ones that get picked go into like a whole separate cup, and it's like, okay, if they're in here, we don't put them in there. Nice. So it's like an annual. It's like an annual. Yeah. Tradition. Mm-hmm. Been doing this ten years now. That's impressive. That's longer than some marriages. <laughs> Wouldn't <awesome>. know. <laughs> Still haven't still haven't tied that knot yet. Not once. <laughs> Just a piece of paper. Well, I'm pretty sure we have to start getting set up for the for the live show. So I want to thank you for coming on. Thanks for I, having me. I love talking to you. That was like, damn, we really blew through all that time like yeah. nothing. It's like thirty minutes, yeah. So if people are looking for you, where can they find you on social media? Um, so go for my Twitter account, which is tech, T-E-C-H underscore critter, C-R-I-T-T-E-R. So pop on to my Twitter account. That's the best place. I'm always on there. Well, and the, the paint night thing. I mean, you just showed a you, – didn't you have like a website that showed the pictures? Yes, um, so it's paintnight.com, and N -I it's spelled N-I-T-E, so paintnite.com. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on again. Thanks for having me, guys. Oh, yeah. For Ashley the Venture, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and of course, I'm on the prowl. <laughs> <laughs>